When she returned to Manus in 1953, Mead was joined by Ted and Lenora Schwartz as she set out to capitalize on her earlier study of the village and the children. She was then concerned with how had these people, whom she had so much admired in 1928, who seemed like such competent people in command of their environment themselves, who thought so well of themselves, how had they come through all of this? Were they going to be another culture devastated by change, uh, fragmented, uh, turned into, as she sometimes put it, a slum culture? Or would they, as she suspected from the characteristics she had studied, uh, would they come through this uh, mastering the new as they had the old? In this restudy, Mead worked out a way to use a team approach and tools that had not been available 25 years earlier. Notes, film, still photos, and audio recordings were used to cross-reference the new data gathered in Manus and nearby Bunai. The idea of it was always to cover the scene with still photography so that you could always establish the context of your filming. The film was intended strictly as a record, an eye-level, um, normal view as a person might see a scene. There was always more in the picture than you could control or influence. You could look at how an audience was taking something to judge uh, how normal it seemed to them. A good deal of our film in the 1953 trip is part of a study of child development, where we were trying to see, did children in another culture, did they develop their motor behavior pretty much the same way that children who had been studied in New Haven by Arnold Gazelle? And we shot at least 10,000 feet of film documenting the gazelle tests that we did. In her old records, Mead found two clues to the ease with which the children had changed. They had learned adult patterns of thinking, like animism, very late in adolescence. And adult life had been presented to them as burdensome and unjoyous. When the war provided an alternative to traditional Manas life, the younger generation responded with enthusiasm. Margaret felt that the Manas were successful in going through this very rapid and drastic change that all generations had moved in synchrony and uh, without being turned against each other. She was particularly interested in this cohesiveness and change, as drastic as the change may be, precisely because she saw this as a problem of our own culture. Mead shared her findings of this rapid change with a wide public. <laughs> 